Hello and welcome. I'm Saeed from StoryPlanet.net. Dive right into the essence of the most captivating books without reading them cover to cover. Whether you're on the go, at the gym, or just relaxing at home, we offer you a unique and enriching listening experience. Today, we are exploring the book On the Origin of Time, a creation by Thomas Hertog. In his 2023 book, On the Origin of Time, explore the fascinating theories of physicist Stephen Hawking from the final two decades of his life. Drawing insight from quantum physics, holograms, and Charles Darwin's evolutionary theory, the book delves into Hawking's beliefs on the universe's beginnings. Before we delve into these revelations, it's interesting to note that Belgian cosmologist Thomas Hertog collaborated closely with Stephen Hawking during the last two decades of Hawking's life, publishing numerous scientific papers together. This is Hertog's second book, Following Big Bang, Imagining the Universe. With six key ideas to unveil, brace yourself for a deep dive into this captivating book on storyplane.net. To start, cutting-edge science with a futuristic feel. The text emphasizes the importance of scientists being open-minded and willing to change their views based on new evidence, using Stephen Hawking as an example. It highlights Hawking's shift in perspective in the 1980s regarding the immutability of the rules of physics governing the universe. The text teases a discussion on Hawking's final search for the origins of these rules, promising a deep exploration into mind-bending ideas that challenge our perception of the cosmos. Key idea number one, the text suggests that the universe is designed to support life. In 1998, Thomas Hertog met Stephen Hawking and began a collaboration on the origin of the universe. They contemplated why the universe seems finely tuned for life, examining factors like gravity and temperature variations that allowed for the existence of galaxies. The weight difference between protons and neutrons may also have played a crucial role in the creation of our universe. Hawking, known for his belief that the universe's laws are consistent and eternal, questioned these concepts in search of a deeper understanding. Key idea number two, existing theories are not sufficient. Humans have debated the fine-tuning of the cosmos and proposed two main explanations, a creative designer like God or a multiverse with numerous universes. However, Stephen Hawking felt unsatisfied with these views as they lacked falsifiability, a key criterion in scientific theory according to Karl Popper. The idea of a single universe or a multiverse presents challenges due to limitations in testing and observing beyond our observable universe, sparking the quest for a new theory on the universe's design. Key idea number three. The text poses a simple question about obtaining the current time. The text discusses the concept of a fourth dimension, time, as theorized by Einstein and explained further by Hawking. It also touches on how Hawking's theories evolved, suggesting that the laws of physics could have changed after the Big Bang and viewing physics from a biological evolution perspective. Lastly, it introduces the complexity of quantum physics, explaining that everything exists as probabilities in the quantum realm, leading to the laws of the universe today being just one of many potential outcomes. Key idea number four. This text likely discusses a fascinating approach to studying the universe known as top-down cosmology, which examines the universe by working from the largest scale down to its smallest components. It may cover how this method offers unique insights and theories into the structure and evolution of the cosmos. The text discusses the strange and complex concepts of quantum physics and the universe. It mentions that in quantum physics, things have probabilities until measured, after which they have definite values. The idea of superposition is introduced, where something can have two different values simultaneously before being measured. The text then introduces top-down cosmology as a concept that could change the study of cosmology by suggesting that human observation could fix the laws of the universe, implying a role for human observers in defining the past and present of the universe. Key idea number five, summary. Weird science likely refers to the unique or unconventional applications of scientific concepts and principles that may challenge traditional norms or expectations in the field of science. 
holography theory views the universe as information rather than atoms and space, suggesting we live in a 3D projection of a universe with more dimensions. Evidence comes from studying black holes. Black holes' information content matches a 2D circle, supporting the holographic universe concept. Hawking and Hertog link this to the universe's beginnings, where time emerged from spatial dimensions, evolving into a holographic model with bits of information. Approaching the Big Bang, information diminishes until a point beyond space and time, concluding the journey to the origin of time. In conclusion, Stephen Hawking changed his view on the origin of the laws of physics in the universe, proposing a theory that our universe is a holographic projection with inaccessible dimensions. He suggested that time emerged from the three dimensions of space post-Big Bang. Hawking believed that laws of the universe evolved right after the Big Bang through quantum physics and that current observations by scientists have effectively fixed these laws from numerous possibilities. Thank you for listening to this summary. If you enjoyed this exploration, we invite you to discover other fascinating books on StoryPlanet.net. Don't wait any longer. A multitude of books, stories and knowledge await you there. See you soon on StoryPlanet.net.